place is made possible by a major grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Major corporate underwriting is provided by SCE Corp. Creative energies give us the power to achieve just about anything. At SCE Corp and our subsidiaries, Southern California Edison, Mission Energy, and Mission First Financial, we believe that working together, we can make a world of difference. I know something Julie. that I want to share. I know somewhere. Katie. Let me take you there. Come along with me to find it. Bang. It's everywhere. Let's get going. Leon. Don't want to be too late. Got a feeling. Sky. Things will work out great. Come on, everybody. Jody. Let's celebrate. The puzzle place. The puzzle place. We're going to the puzzle place. Sizzle and nozzle are a double treat. And the police police are on the beat. The puzzle place. The puzzle place. We're going to the puzzle place. And if you're a kid, you've got the key. Yep. Jody's on her way. Mmm. Oh, he looks really terrific. Yeah, and check out the face. <laughs> That's the funniest scarecrow I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Ben, thanks again for you and your mom inviting me and Jody here to the farm. Oh, you're welcome, Leon. It's nice to have you and Jody here. Leon. I hear her coming. We better get okay, inside. Okay, okay. Come on, get inside. Okay, in. Move over. Move over. Okay, okay. okay. Move over, Ben. Okay. Can we get back? Okay, okay. Uh, testing. <laughs> um, my name. No, no. My name. No. My name. Yeah, that's a good yeah, voice. Good, good, good. My name is. Uh, what's my name? Um, scary. No, not scary. Mr. Um, scary. No, not Mr. Scary. Um, uh, Ichabod. Ichabod. Yeah, it'll work. Try it. My name is. Ichabod. Scary. Ooh, yeah, yeah, right. My name is... What's that noise? Oh, it's Jody. It's Jody. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Wait, wait. Leon? Oh, Ben? Hello? Oh, where are they? I've looked everywhere. Hello, oh. Jody. Oh, why, hello. My name is Ichabod. Ooh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> They're in there, aren't they? <laughs> well, it's so nice to meet you, Ichabod. Say, have you seen Ben? Well, Leon and I are visiting him and, well, I want to tell him I'm here. Ben? Well, Ben, he might be there. <clears throat> or he could be over there. <clears throat> or he could be... Everywhere! <laughs> hmm, I don't think so, Ichabod. Say, you know, you look like a scarecrow, but scarecrows certainly don't move or talk like you do. <gasps> I know! You're a robot, yeah! Hey, do you know Rudy One? Well, he visited us one time at the puzzle place. I wonder where this piece goes. Jody! Jody, look, look what I found! It's a self rotating bi directional tachometer! <gasps> See? Wow! Can't wait to use it to fix something! Yeah! Huh, I'll go look in the kitchen! Hey, let me help you, alright? Sure, come on! No! Ben, no! Please. No, no, please no, ben, no, no! Come on. No. Absolutely not! Uh, ben? I will not wear a dress! But, Ben, how am I ever going to make this dress for my cousin? You're the same huh? size she is. When I get it to fit you, 
It'll fit her. Men do not wear dresses. They wear pants. Ben, that is not true. Men all over the world wear dresses. Huh? Weebus, show Ben how men wear things besides pants. See, look, in Scotland they wear skirts for special occasions, you know, like uh, a parade. And in Hawaii, when men dance the hula, their grass skirts, see? They sway back and forth with every move. In places like Egypt, where the weather is always hot, men wear long, flowing robes to keep cool. Africa is very hot, too. Maasai warriors drape themselves in beautiful, loose-fitting fabric. These men are called whirling dervishes. They're from Istanbul, Turkey. And in Bali, men and boys wear special skirts called sarongs. You have to wrap it up just right so the sarong stays on. <laughs> See, Ben? Lots of men wear dresses. And, and Sky is going to help. Please. No. Okay, yes. but don't tell anyone. Oh, I won't. Okay, Sky has all the stuff in the basement. Come on. Come on, Ben. Okay. One. Two. Oh, well, 378. 379. Of all the nerve! 380. Oh, what's new, Sizzle? I'll tell you what's new. Yeah. I just met a new cat in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And do you know what he called me? Well, as a matter of fact, He I... called me a prissy cat <gasps> and a snooty patootie. No. Yes. Not a snooty patootie. I'm going to have to think about that. Hmm. hmm, now let's see here. What should you call him? Call him a, uh... No, that's not gonna work. New cat in town called your name. You call him... Nuzzle! Yeah, Nuzzle! <laughs> no, no. Don't call him Nuzzle. Sizzle, Nuzzle is my name. What? Mm-hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Rudy one to naughty one. Rudy one to naughty one. Come in, naughty one. Very good, Rudy one. I see you're in the puzzle place. Oh, let's go over the plan. Okay. I am to approach the children in the puzzle place. Yes. Make friends with one. Yes. Yes. Then treat all the others badly and call them names. Yes, I am brilliant. I'm smart. I'm so naughty. Mm -hmm. But I have one question, your aloneness. Why? Simple, you ridiculous little transistor head. Being friendly to one and mean to the others will set the children against each other. Hmm. They will fight and become enemies. Hmm. Oh, won't that be fun? <laughs> Someone's coming. All right, Rudy One, get busy. Getting busy, oh, one of naughtiness. Hey guys, look, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, hello? Hello? Hey guys? Hmm, now, where 
is everybody? <sighs> ah! <laughs> wow, look at you! Um, hey, who are you? I am Rudy One. I am a robot. Wow, cool. Hey, I'm Leon. Um, what are you doing here? I mean, I didn't know robots could bop around on their own. Hmm, I have a self-bopping capability, Leon. Oh, yeah? Observe. Hmm? Weebum, screen on. Um, actually, it's Weebus. Oh, glossary revised, Weebus. Screen on, Weebus. Display audio-visual file on robots. They look like people. And move like people, but they're not. They're robots. Robots, Rudy? Yes, I like them too. Robots are my kind of people. <laughs> Good one. Hey, come on. I want to introduce you to my friends. They're going to love you. Negative. Hmm? You remain here. I will go and surprise your friends. Then they will really love me. Oh, okay. Go for it. Going for it. <laughs> You look great, Ben. Th these yellow polka dots really complement your blonde hair. Watch it, Sky. <laughs> oh, relax, Ben. We're almost done. I just gotta. Hey, hey, guys, check that out. Hmm? Whoa! Wow. Oh, I wonder if it can sew. Ooh. Sewing is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Hey, wait a minute. He can't talk that way to us. Right, Ben? Yeah. Right, Sky? Right. Hmm. Your name is Sky? That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I didn't know boys wore dresses. You look ridiculous. Watch it, Buster! Well, that wasn't very nice. He said we were ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. He made me feel bad when he said that. Me too. Hey, what about you? Has anyone ever made you feel bad by, by calling you a name? Well, there's a girl, girl at school that's about a foot taller than me. And when she gets mad, she calls me shorty and it hurts my feelings. I was in school, there was this kid who was taller than me. And he usually pushed me around and called me wimp. I always get upset when my sister and my brother... They call me names and hurt my feelings. Sometimes they make fun of my glasses and it really bothers me inside. It's this boy who goes to my school and he called me a bad name. And that made me sad. Wow. I guess lots of kids get their feelings hurt when someone calls them names. Yeah, well at least we're not alone. Hmm. But oh, what should we do? Tough puzzle. Hey, Rudy! Did you find the others? Affirmative. Targets were located. Targets? Oh, right, yeah. Robot talk. I bet they were surprised to meet you. Affirmative. They were surprised. Yeah, I thought they would be. Can I help you, Leon? Oh, with the puzzle? Oh, sure, Rudy. Gee, you really are a great friend. <gasps> hey, thanks! You're welcome, Leon friend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Sizzle. Now you say that this cat called you a, uh, let's see, prissy cat and a ugh, snooty patootie. Yes, in fact. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Sizzle, hmm. I'm going to be your coach. I'm going to coach you in what to say to him. Good. Great. Okay. Um, Sizzle, oh, that's okay, coach. Okay, coach. Now, Sizzle, I want you to get tough. I want you to march up to that cat, and Sizzle, you call him a... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Better not call him that. A what? I'll tell you what, Sizzle. What? Instead, you march right up to him, and you call him a... a... a oh, oh, no. Well, that's too mean. What? No. Sizzle, instead, you march right up to that cat, and I want you to call him uh -huh. a... No, no. That's not gonna work, Sil. Oh, Let's see. No, no. Instead, 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 what, 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 work? You call him a, uh, you call him. No, that's not gonna. Sizzle? Sizzle? Hmm. <sighs> Ow! Sorry. <sighs> so, you guys. What are we going to do about that rude robot? Mm, yeah. If only we could figure out a way to turn him off. Mm, talking ah. about robots. Shush! So you met the bucket of bolts too, eh, Kiki? I certainly did. And you know what he said? He said I should pack my toolbox because I was too ridiculous to fix anything. Oh, he said that my hat was ridiculous. Oh. I get the feeling that ridiculous is that robot's favorite word. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's ridiculous is that this robot's being so mean to everyone. Ow! Yeah. Sorry. What are we going to do? Hey. What do you think we should do? Oh, yeah. You should tell someone that they're calling you names. You should never, never call them names back. I say just to ignore them. Try to tell someone that can make them stop. Think about something else. Think of all the happy things that you have done. Like, think of good things. If anybody calls you a bad name or anything, ne never, never try to get revenge. Just walk away. Well, I'd like to give that robot a few lessons in manners. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. And I say we ask him to leave. We don't have to put up with that. That's right, Kiki. Yeah. We should leave. Mm. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Leon? Have you guys seen him? No. I no. haven't seen no. him. No. Oh, Leon's so sensitive. I'm going to find him before that robot insults him, too. Okay, Sky. <laughs> Are you almost done? Almost. Hey, Benny. Those polka dots match your hair. <laughs> Doesn't he look good? He looks good. Uh, very original. Okay, Rudy, from the top. High five. High five. Low five. Low five. Slide five. Slide five. <laughs> and the bump. Bump. <laughs> Bye, Rudy. But remember to... Stop. Gee, uh, are you okay? Affirmative. I will stop. Next time. <laughs> uh, Rudy, one, you're the greatest. Hmm. The greatest what is the question? Huh? Oh, Sky. You've met Rudy One, right? Isn't he great? Uh, great? Listen, Leon, I don't know how to break this to you, but not only is this robot rude, he's, he's downright mean. He said some awful things to everyone. Look, whatever he said, I'm sure he didn't mean it. He was just kidding. Affirmative, kid, yuck, yuck, fun stuff. Uh, ha! It isn't fun stuff to call people names, Rudy. Listen, Leon. What? He treats you differently than he treats the rest of us. Hmm. And, well, we want him to leave. No. Yes. No. Yes, Leon. No, Sky. Yes. No. The plan is no. working. 
They are starting to argue. No. Yes, Leon. Look, Sky. Whatever he said, I'm sure Rudy didn't mean it. But if you want him to leave, mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. I'll leave too. Huh? Hm. I'm out of here. No, Leon. Come on, I didn't Rudy. mean for you to. I just meant Rudy. Ru Boy, there's one aluminum can I'd like to recycle. Oh, hi, Nuzzle. I was just up here thinking. You see, I got this new friend, Rudy One, and I think he's the greatest. But nobody likes him. And they say that he says mean things to them. So what should I do? Thanks. Walked out on you like that, Sky. Yeah. I can. What? It's like this. Since Rudy One is nice to Leon, Leon can't believe that Rudy One is mean to the rest of us. Mm. Well, what if Rudy One is right? Yeah. What if we're the ones that are ridiculous and he is right? Oh, no. Well, wait a minute, guys. Oh, no. Who says that robot is so smart? We're not ridiculous. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Right, that's right, Julie. Yeah. But but if, if we're not ridiculous, well, how come we felt hurt when that robot said that we were? Because it always hurts when someone calls you names. Mm. But we have to remember that what the robot said isn't true. Right, right, which means that Rudy One is the one with the problem. Yeah. Problem, huh? Hmm. I've been looking for something to fix. <laughs> hey, that's Rudy. I called you ridiculous so you would fight with each other. But you are not doing this. <sighs> we're not fighting because we're friends. And you're wrong. But you are not my friends. I can say whatever I want to you. No, you can't, Rudy. Because they're my friends. And when you're mean to my friends, it's just like being mean to me. Hmm. Please explain. What does this mean? It means you have to change the way you act. Nobody wants to be around someone who calls people names all the time. They say sticks and stones can break your bones, but words doesn't feel that way to me When you call us names, it's not a game You're gonna make us feel blue Don't go hurting feelings, that's no way to be said mean things to you. You can't say that. Get it straight right off the bat. You can't say that. We're going to show you where it's at. You can't say that. Oh no, you can't say that. If you like to change and say things right, we'll show you how to do it. I am not programmed in that way. Song. 
I am defragmented to my core. Now do you understand? Affirmative. But I am not a human. I am a machine. Yeah, you cannot change. You are right. I must leave. Hey, wait a minute, Rudy One. I got an idea. I can make some adjustments to you. Mm -hmm. Will adjustments hurt? Oh, well, it tickle a little bit, but come on. Okay. in the springtime. Hey, wait a minute. How do you feel about uh, lima beans? I love them. What about dull crayon? I love them. How about cleaning up your room? I love it. <laughs> okay, okay. It needs some fine tuning. Hmm. Well, anyway, Rudy, at least now you can be friends with everyone here. Yes, but, but first I must call the Naughty One. He will love my new personality and enhanced user interface. Come in, Naughty One. Yes? Who is that? Ooh, Rudy One. Hello, Naughty One. I just called to say I love you. I just called to say how much I care. I just called to say I love you and I mean it from the bottom of my ROM. What? Rudy One are experiencing a complete system failure. Return to me immediately. Did those children do this to you? Oh. Yes, I, I love them. And they are my friends. Hey, they can be your friends too. Negative, get back here at once. Well, at least you tried, Rudy. Yes. But I must return to the Naughty One. I'd like to thank you, Leon, and your friends for recalibrating my responses and for upgrading my operating system. Oh, you're welcome, Rudy. I think. Maybe you can come back and visit sometime. I would like that, Leon. You are my friend, too? Uh, you bet, Rudy. High five! High five! Low five! Low five! And slide five. Slide five. And bump. Bye bye, friends. Bye, Rudy. Bye. 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 Come on, Nuz. Come on. Tell me something to say to that cat. Yeah, something oh. mean. Something that'll make him feel bad. Whoa. Yeah, like the way I felt when he called me a, a mm. pussy cat and a snooty patootie. <gasps> Sizzle, I have just realized what you have to do. Yeah? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. I... What? Think about it, Sizzle. If you call him something like a rat cat or a, a, a crabby tabby, then yeah. Sizzle, Sizzle, no, then you'll be mean too. Oh. And well, that's just not you, Sizzle. No, sir. The sizzle I know doesn't make anybody feel bad, right? But, but, well, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not mean, mm -hmm. but it hurt my feelings when he said that. Oh, sizzle, <sighs> oh, well, just ignore him. Look, the things he says aren't true, right? Well... Right, so it's his problem, not yours, right? Right. Right. And that's my game plan, Sizzle. <gasps> now, Sizzle, I want you to get out there and hunker down and stick to the plan and do nothing. Right. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> and besides, I am not a robot. I am a talking scarecrow. Whoa! 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 And take it easy. I'm the scarer. All right. A talking scarecrow? Well, that's pretty unusual. And you have two voices. Uh oh. Which is even more unusual. <gasps> Wait a minute. I know. I know. You're not from Earth. You're from another planet. You came here from outer space. Uh, uh what do we do now, Leon? Good thinking, Ichabod. <sighs> you know, we all visited outer space once. It was pretend, of course, but it was still pretty cool. We did it because Kiki was really unhappy with kids at school who made fun of her accent. <sighs> Rubber baby boogie bo No. Rubber baby boogie Nice bo try! Very nice try, Ben, oh. on rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> oh. Then can I try again? Oh, no. Sorry. In this contest, every player only gets one chance. No, That's thank you. That's because this is the Tone Twister Contest! That's the most beautiful song I've heard today. Thank oh. you very much. Oh, well, Thanks, well, thank you. <laughs> okay, and now for our next tongue twister contestant from the White Mountain Apache Bear Clan, it's Mr. Sky Nakaya. Oh, 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 <gasps> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, then where's the peck of pickled peppers? Put it, put it up. Did I do it? You're, you're, you're out. Hmm. I don't know if you're aware of this, Sizzle, but I happen to be an expert at dog tongue twisters. Nuzzle, mm -hmm. there yep. is no such thing as a dog tongue twister. There sure is. Look, dogs have tongues, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so dogs have dog tongue twisters. Now listen, this is a tricky one called Jones Eats Each Bone. Ta-da! You made a mistake. Who hasn't had a turn yet? Oh, mm. Kiki hasn't gone yet. Yeah. Oh, Kiki. Hey, where is Kiki anyway? Hmm. I don't see her. I mean, I see Nuzzle. I see Sizzle. Mm -hmm. I see that creature from out of space. <gasps> huh? Greetings, Earthlings. Oh, oh wow. wow. Check it out. Oh, 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 she wins. Oh, oh, cool great. outfit, wow. Kiki. Ladies oh, and gentlemen oh, and oh, Earthlings, I give you Kiki Flutter! Hey. Hey. hey! How you doing, Kiki? As the people of my planet say, I feel mooky, cookie. Huh? Oh. Mooky, gooky? <laughs> <laughs> that means ooky, dooky. Oh. Oh, well, whatever it means, that sure is a great hat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean hair. Yeah. Uh, hair hat. <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> my name is not Kiki. My name is Hubi, and I come from the planet Fanubi. Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah. Uh, Kiki's pretending to be from outer space. Right, oh, yeah. Right. fun. <laughs> we do not have time for fun in Fanubi, and we do not... Pretend. Well, hey, Hooby, do you have time for tongue twister contests? What is a tongue twister? Oh, a, a tongue twister is a group of words that's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they can be very serious or very silly. Yeah. yeah. And then the fun is, your tongue gets so twisted up inside your mouth that it tickles. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty six. Sixty-six sneaky snakes. Rubber baby boogie bumper. Bumper. <laughs>
Peter Piper pick a pack of Peter Peppers. A proper cup of coffee pot. A proper cup of coffee pot. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby bumper. Blah. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby. Rugger baby bugger. <laughs> bugger. Did the butterfly flutter by the butterfly? Did the butterfly flutter fly by the butterfly? Did the butterfly flutter fly by the butterfly? Rubber baby bunky bubber. Rubber baby bunky bubber. Rubber baby bunky bubber. Wow! Oh, Some of those tongue twisters are really hard. Mm. If tongue twisters are so hard, why say them? I will not play any of your silly earthling games. Well, too bad, Hooby, because the winner gets this handsome smile-shaped trophy oh, and this big box of uh, 748 uh, crayons. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, Mookie Gookie, I will try one of your games. All right, Hooby. How about... Peter Piper. Peter Piper, okie dokie. Oh, Peter Piper. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peppers. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peppers, how many pickle peppers did Peter Piper pick? Oh. I win! <laughs> <laughs> Because you're the only one that said Peter Piper correctly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You are laughing at me. No. Yes, you are laughing at me, just like those kids at school. <gasps> oh, huh? Uh, oh, but, what? but we weren't laughing at her. Mm. What kids at school? Kiki. This is the worst hair day of your life. <laughs> What's up with that? Why are you from outer space today? Julie, well, I was pretending to be a space person because kids, kids laugh at the way I talk. You know, my accent. What kids? Who? I don't believe it. The kids at school. The Statue of Liberty was a gift given to the United States by France. What's so funny? <laughs> she said gift instead of gift. It's like liberty. <laughs> Says, Kiki's pretending to be from outer space. Well, maybe we should look into that. You know, outer space could be really exciting for us. What could possibly hmm. be waiting for us in outer space, Nuz? <gasps> Dogs and cats from other planets. Oh, Sis, just imagine what we could learn from them. Well, we could learn, uh, we could learn, uh, <gasps> How to bury a bone on Jupiter! Wow! Oh. Terrific! Why don't you call him up and tell him we're coming? Oh. Huh. 
Great idea, Sizzle. Hmm. Ooh -wee -oh. This is Nuzzle calling dogs on Jupiter. Do not be afraid. We mean you no harm. Uh, oh, uh, my friend is a cat, but she's okay. Um, signing off for now, over and out. <laughs> oh, uh, I think it'll be okay if you go to. I'll start packing. <laughs> I don't know, Jody. Do you really think that, that if we pretend to go into outer space that Kiki will play with us again? Oh, sure, Sky. Mm -hmm. She'll say that we like her idea so much that we want to build a spaceship. It'll prove that we weren't making fun of her. Yeah. Okay. You know, Jody, I think building the spaceship is a great idea. But only if one thing happens. Which is? that Kiki comes down and sees it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would do it. Come on, Kiki. Come on, play outer space with us. I cannot play. I'm Hooby, and I must return to Vanubi. Return? Well, okay. All right, you can return to Vanubi. I can? Yeah, just, um... Just come downstairs first and say goodbye to the other kids. Okay, Julie. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Boy, I... I sure hope they have better ideas down there than, than I had up here. Just put this right off there, over there. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, maybe I gotta pull oh, the tape there. Oh. Okay, are you oh, sure that this is absolutely this. necessary? Yeah. Sizzle, oh, the kids are gonna fly that ship into outer space. Ooh, uh, if we want to go along, we have to wear the right stuff. Uh, uh, there. Okay, now close your eyes. All right, all right. They're closed. <laughs> okay, you can look now. Wow! Number one, <gasps> feline officer Sizzle, set a course for planet. Oh, of course, Pluto. <laughs> wow! Oh, 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 and Sizzle, watch this, watch this. <clears throat> Beep. Okay, almost ready for liftoff, Captain Jody. Thanks, Commander Sky. Let's make sure the ground crew is all set. Mm. Jody, then make it so. Roger. The engine room is ready. Roger, ready for liftoff. Greetings, Earthlings. So, what do you think, Kiki? We made this rocket ship so we could play with you. Yeah. We're all going into outer space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Why? Um, um... 
Well, you know, uh, uh, to run some errands. Yeah, yeah, my mom asked me to pick up a, a gallon of milk. Yeah, and so we're going to the Milky Way. Yeah. Gee, guys, I hope they're still open. Oh. <laughs> Don't you want to go out into space, Kiki? Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. I am not Kiki. I'm Hooby, and I do not want fun. I must go home. Home? You mean... I mean to Fanubi, where everyone speaks as I do, and nobody laughs at anybody's accent. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, well, then we'll take you there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we'll no, take you. No, you cannot. Oh, sure we can. It's on our way. Yep. Uh -huh. That's a... That's a great idea. Hoobie will be our special guest passenger. Please? Mookie gookie. All right. All right. All right. All right. Shake a leg, Sizzle. It's almost time for liftoff. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, all right. Just don't look. Don't look. Close your eyes. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay, they're closed. Okay. All right. You can look. I can look? Just, just don't laugh. Okay. <laughs> oh, laugh? Oh, sizzle, you look magnificent. Why, why, you're the space cat's meow. You're the, the, the space cat in the hat. Are you ready for blast off? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. Oh, good. But, Ness, Ness, hmm? what do we do up in space? You'll see. Oh, go ahead, hop in, hop in. Let me just okay. oh, get the okay. spacecraft around. You ready? Wait, wait. Okay. Uh, all right. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, now has everybody gone to the bathroom? Yes, yes we're Sky. Okay, good. All right, everyone. Oh, Commander Sky. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, lights on. Click. Thanks. Ooh. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Welcome aboard, everyone. Once we reach warp five, I'll be turning off the seatbelt sign. Feel free to float about the cabin. Wow. Wow. Look, Leon, I can see my house from up here. Oh, yeah. So, this is outer space. Yeah. Hey, hey, it looks just like the pictures in the brochure. Yeah. yeah. How long until we get to Fanubi? Oh, well, it's about uh, 83 quadrillion miles away. So, about 10 minutes. <gasps> 10 minutes? Oh. Sorry, can't we make this heap go any faster? Hmm. Oh. Ah. This is it, Sizzle. Oh. Space. What I like to call the final frontier. The frontier that is final. That's the one. Oh. So, uh... So now, now we're here, Ra. Uh, now what do we do? Hmm? Oh, now we do this. <laughs> and push! Wow. Uh, hey! Oh. What, what are you doing? I'm floating, Sizzle! Oh. Whee! You see, in space, there's no gravity, so there's nothing to hold you down. You just float in the air! Wow. Uh, whee! Oh, Sizzle, you should try this. Come on, live a little. Woohoo! Oh, backwards. Hey, now I'm gonna do it with a triple lutz. Whoa. Hey now. Whee! Hey, hey, Sizzle. Sizzle? What? <laughs> hmm. We sure will miss you, Hoobie. You remind us of our friend Kiki. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay with you. Mm. Captain Jody, are we there yet? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Commander Sky? Oh, um, uh, let's see. Eight minutes to Fanubi, Captain. Hey, I know. While we're waiting, let's 
do some more tongue twisters. Wow. Yeah. That's a good idea, Julie. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest tongue twister I ever heard is she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> That's not the hardest one I have ever heard. Oh. No? No. The hardest one I have ever heard is in Spanish, and it goes... Tres tristes tigres tragaron trigo en un trigal. Oh. Yeah. Ruby, you speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, and it means three sad tigers swallow weed in a field. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You can say swallowed weed in Spanish? Of course. I can say anything I want in Spanish. Wow, that is incredible. You speak two languages. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, that's twice as many languages as I speak. Mm. Yeah. How'd you do it? Did you take lessons or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I learned it at home from my parents. I'm bilingual. And that means I can speak two languages. A lot of people are bilingual. I'm saying I speak English and Korean. 나는 한국말랑 미국말 할수 있습니다. I speak English and Persian. Man for si va English ya fim sana. En es le kno, amarenia alcalo. I'm Zilk and I speak English and Ethiopian. I'm Anna and I speak in Portuguese and English. Olá, o meu nome é Ana e eu falo em português e inglês. Ngo gongin man tong zhong man, I speak English and Chinese. I read and write in English, but I sign in American Sign Language. I'm Ismael Perez, and I speak English and Spanish. Yo soy Ismael Perez, y hablo en inglés y en español. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you're lucky to be bilingual. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Kiki, yeah. that's where your accent comes from. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Well... You learned Spanish as your first language. Yeah. 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 Oh, maybe you're right. I can get dressed in two languages. Me voy a vestir. I can have breakfast in two languages. Me voy a desayunar. I can even feed the cat in two languages. Aquí está tu comida, gatito. I can do anything I want in two languages. Wow. Yeah. You're lucky. Yeah. Kiki, that's wonderful. Oh, no. <gasps> there it is, Captain. The planet Fanubi. Ooh. Oh, uh, Hubi? Huh? Hubi. Huh? We're here now. Hubi? Hubi. Uh, that's not my name. My name is Kiki Flores. <gasps> and Captain Jody, you can turn this rocket ship around. I'm going back to the puzzle place with my friends. Yeah.
ho 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 We chase our tails in zero gravity. We'll, we'll finally, finally catch them! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was so nice. Hey, Ichabod, are you from outer space? Have you ever been to Fanubi? No, Jody. I am not a robot. I am a talking scarecrow from Earth. Ah! Ben, take it easy. Ben. Oh, okay. What does she mean, okay? I don't know. Well, what do you mean, okay? Don't you think I'm scary? Mm -mm, not really. What now, Ichabod? Well, it's not my fault. If Jody doesn't understand that she's supposed to be afraid of a of a Ben, of a will you take it of easy? Of You're supposed to be oh! 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 Leon, what? This is all your fault, pal. My fault, Ben. This is your fault. You my weren't scary. Fault? That's right. Jody, Jody was not afraid once. of you. No. Hey. Hey, where's Jody? Yeah. Oh, ben and Leon. Ah! I am Ichabod. Ah! Could you hurry, Leon? Ah! <laughs> I'll never tell them. I knew they were in Ichabod the whole time. I love to trick the tricksters. <laughs> hey, guys, come back. It was just me, Jody, Leon, Ben. Place is a co-production of Lancet Media New York and KCET Los Angeles.